Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have set five, mustache pack number two. Of course, this is an expansion for Zombie Side first edition. So as you can tell right off the bat, you get a bunch of figures, some cards, and some clips for your cards. Cool artwork on the side. These people look familiar. Of course, it's brought to you by Cool Mini or Not, Simon and Guillotine Games for Zombie Side. So let's flip this over and see what it says. Dick the Undertaker. Need Grandma buried quick? Come see Dick. Voted Undertaker of the Year three years running, Dick Johnson's chain of cut-rate funeral parlors consistently buried the comp competition. When the dead actually rose... Hi, hi, Rosie. When the dead actually rose... Hi, Rosie. When the dead actually rose, Dick hid in one of his uh, own custom-made coffins for three days, hoping to ride it out. Reemerging into a dead new world and realizing that since nobody died anymore, he was now the most useless man on earth. Dick threw himself into the business of survival with the same vigor he displayed in building his one-man empire of the dead. Dick's knowledge of anatomy, embalming chemicals, and obscure undertaking lore will prove invaluable to any group he joins. Leroy. Looks familiar. I'm sorry. But there's, there you go. You got Dick there. And you've got Leroy here. Leroy always knew he wanted to be an accountant, and he's worked hard to make his dream a reality. The day he became a certified public accountant was the greatest of his of his life. All was well in his world of spreadsheets and PowerPoints presentations until he went on a mandatory team building exercise set deep in the woods. The team building exercise involved paintball and copious amounts of alcohol, and Leroy woke the next morning with a hangover and a mohawk. Unfortunately, the zombies chose that day to attack. The sole survivor of his slaughtered team, Leroy traded in his paintball rifle for the real thing. His transformation from mild-mannered accountant to cold-blooded killer has been nothing short of a sounding. And he looks a little bit like Mr. T. Paul. Reality TV star. Ever been kicked by a giraffe? They're nasty critters. Discovered by TV producers during $2 picture night at his local bowling alley, Paul hit the big time in the African Safari Journey reality show. Leading his team to a fourth place finish, his star rose as he starred in the inevitable sequels and reunions. When African Safari Journey was canceled, Paul hit the skids and was working as a short earth cook at a local diner when the dead rose. Taking charge, he led his terrified patrons to safety. Paul doesn't have many useful survival skills, but people respond to his leadership skills and his erasable persona. The world needs a hero, and Paul is glad to play the part. And there's a picture of him. Of course, this is brought to you by Guillotine Games and Simon. A zombie side core game box is needed to enjoy these expansions. And you can go for more information either simon.com or to guillotinegames.com. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. Again, this is set number five, mustache pack number two. Put that to the side, and this to the side. Let's look at the card first. The three cards for your characters come in the box. So you got for Dick, Lucky, Plus one action, plus one die combat, zombie link, plus free combat action, distributor, and hit and run. Cards in reserve go back there. Card, the two weapons he has in his hands go right here. This is his normal side. And then when you switch to the zombie side, there he is right there. Some of these things change. Lucky, free ranged action, plus one damage combat, the zombie link, distributor, hit and run, and reaper combat. They go that's dick now we're going to talk about leroy tough plus one action plus one damage in combat shove plus one free combat action plus one to dice roll combat reaper combat when we switched over to the zombie side side yep, we go over to the zombie side side you got tough plus one free melee reaction shove super strength plus one to dice roll combat 
Dreadnought Walker, Reaper Combat. And we get our last character, Paul. He's a Swordmaster, plus one action, plus one die for melee, plus one free melee action. Plus one damage in melee, plus one to dice roll for melee, or bloodlust melee. Again, card reserved. Main weapons in his hands right there. Swordmaster, plus one free melee action, plus one die melee, death grasp, plus one damage melee, plus one to dice roll melee, and a barbarian. That's the zombie side. They got it right there. So you got Paul, Paul, Leroy and Dick. You got all three right there. So those are your three characters that you find inside our pack here. Of course, you also get a little baggie which has three clips inside it. There they are. And each clip goes for each one of these here. And uh, for those who have never played Zombie Side before, uh, the clip goes starts here and starts moving this direction. So every time you kill one, you, you move your clip up one slot. And as you move it up, so in this one here, he's a sword master. When he moves up to here, he gets plus one action up to here. Gets to choose one of these. When he gets to the red, which I, again, I've said in all the videos that I've been doing about the unboxings for a zombie side, very rarely have I ever gotten to the red zone here. Uh, but for that, then you get to choose three. One of the three that are here. All right, so there you go. Also, your character gets stronger the more that they kill, the stronger they become. All right, so let's start off with Dick. All right, and that's his. Red is always a little more challenging to see. Again, spray it with a nice white primer. All the cool detail in this figure will pop. Gun's a little big, but that's pretty cool. That's okay. So that's his normal figure. Over here. And the zombie side. So there you have it. Then we have Leroy. Again, sprayed up with, with white or black primer, making all the details pop. Again, Simon always does a fantastic job of, he's leaning forward a little bit there, put a little warm water, just scoop, pull him right back up, not a big deal. But again, always cool sculpts and uh, really cool to use those familiar faces on these characters. And that's the zombie side, side of the card. You would flip to that figure there, right? There you go. And then we have Paul. No, I think that's the zombie side first, yep. So this is Paul, normal side. Blades leaning on there, so this one might be a little trickier to paint up. But nice detail on it. Cool figure. It goes right there. And then the zombie side. And hot pink. And there you have it. That's everything that is included. Of course, the tray is also included, which you saw earlier. But that's everything that's included in Zombie Side set number five, the mush mustache pack number two. Again, brought to you by Cool Mini or Not, Guillotine Games, produced for Zombie Side first edition. You can use it for the second edition. 
All you got to do is just change the stat lines according to the new rules that they put out with the uh, second edition. There's also a card set, which I also did. I already did a unboxing for a while back that you can check the video out. That also has these figures in it that will allow you to uh, make the changes. The changes are already made for you right there on those cards. So, again, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Of course, you could always subscribe to our page. This way, you're alerted anytime we release new content or new unboxing video. Once again, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well. Enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing.